What I'd like to talk about today is the actual camera gear that we take into the field with us. A lot of people ask us, how much gear do you take? And I'm one of those guys that's more on the lines of the less the better when it comes to camera gear. I know some guys that tote 65 pound packs into the, into the woods with their camera gear, but I believe that you can get away with a, a package that's much smaller and lighter than that. Actually, I just weighed the total package that, that, that I'm about ready to show you. Uh, it comes in at a whopping 15 pounds and it fits into a, a 900 cubic inch uh, fanny pack. I use a Tenzing 930 fanny pack uh, to put all this in and on, and it ends up turning out to be a pretty nice compact package uh, that's easy to get into the field and out and sets up very well uh, in the tree. The main camera that most of us here at the Antler Geeks use is, for our main camera is a Canon XA10. Like It's a great camera. Uh, from a video quality perspective and in, in, in very easy to use. It's a touch screen camera. Uh, does a great job in low light conditions. The only drawback to the camera is the zooming capability of it. It's not all that great, uh, but I haven't found it to hurt me in the field yet. So it's, a, it's just an all around great camera that comes in a very small package. The other uh, cameras that we use, and I end up carrying three cameras to the field, I uh, use a second angle camera that most everyone uses these days. In this case, it's a Sony uh, CX-110. You can see that it's very small. Obviously, if things only weighing, the total package only weighing 15 pounds, things have to be small. This is a great camera. All these cameras uh, video in, in high definition, uh, but this is the one I, I choose to use uh, for my second angle, whether it be above or around me or wherever I choose to, to place it. That is mounted uh, to the tree uh, using a couple uh, a couple instruments here. One is just your regular old bow holder. I end up putting this right into the tree wherever wherever I need it. And the second thing is, and I don't see a lot of people using this, but uh, I found this uh, several years ago. This is a very handy uh, camera uh, mount. It's uh, from TrophyTools.com, and basically it's a clamp. You just clamp this on limbs or whatever. Uh, but the beauty of this is it's got this swiveling and rotating ball on top of it, which allows you to position the camera anywhere. This is just a great all around mount. So what I end up doing is running this, the, the bow holder into the tree, wherever that may be, and then I just take this, this uh, clamp here and clamp it right onto that, and that's my second angle. Or if I have a limb handy or whatever, I don't even use the bow holder, I just use this guy and uh, then clamp it into the tree. So that's a very very slick system to get your second angle in. It's not, it doesn't involve another arm or anything like that. It's just very small uh, tools, if you will, uh, to get, uh, get that second angle. Uh, lastly is a camera that I use for, um, it's like the pointing back at me on, and I mount it to my bow. This ends up being a Drift HD 170. Um, people, guys use GoPros and there's all kinds of little small cameras out there, but I end up using this Drift. I've had it for uh, several years now. It works great uh, to mount either on the bow or on your head or wherever uh, when you're trying to get those cool uh, shots. Very good, very good uh, uh, camera. One thing I missed is how we get the, the main camera, the X-A10 that I mentioned earlier, to the tree. Uh, I use a Muddy uh, Outfitter arm. You can see it here. Uh, it's not a very big arm, but it's very solid. And they just came out with this a couple years ago. And this is just a really solid, doesn't weigh a lot arm uh, that that small XA-10 ends up mounting to. And so by the time you put all this together, as I mentioned, it's a, it's a whopping 15 pounds. It gives you three cameras, main camera uh, that's on the arm, the second angle camera, and then the camera that's uh, the mounted on the bow pointed back at the archer. So. That's all I take to the field, a couple extra batteries, uh, some lens cleaning kits, uh, things like that, uh, just to make sure everything, all the lenses are good and clean, uh, and dusty conditions, but you know, that's pretty much it. And so what I like to do now is actually show you, uh, from my perspective, me loading up the backpack uh, with the, uh, the camera equipment itself, and you'll see that it really doesn't take a lot of space uh, to, to package these uh, cameras. Uh, when you're taking them out to the field. 